On today's adventure, we'll be bringing you inside Diggin' Zone Theme Park in Sevierville, Tennessee to give you a full tour of everything you can do here. You'll be walking around the park with us and one of the owners and we'll go over ticket prices, operating days and hours, along with ride height and weight requirements of every ride here. We'll have a three-year-old with us that's 40 inches tall, so we'll see everything he is able to do. We'll be checking out their gift shop, their full service arcade, their birthday party room, and going into their cafe showing you everything on the menu. You'll get to hop on with us on just about all of their attractions inside from their steamrollers to their skid steers and their gators and lots of excavators as we compete against each other on a number of different games and we'll see who will be brave enough to join Hannah on their decimator ride at the end. We will try to answer as many frequently asked questions as possible along the way of this new construction theme park that is only 10 minutes down the road from Dollywood Theme Park in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. So without further ado, let the adventure begin. So we are here at Diggin' Zone with Weston, one of the owners. Tell me again a little bit about the inspiration to get this place started. Grew up with equipment, grew up on a farm, enjoyed it as kids, and we thought, what a great way to have other people get to try different equipment without going to rent their own equipment. It's fun, gets kids off screens, gets them out in exposure to different locations, gets, them, gets exposure to different equipment and the construction industry. So. That's, that's the biggest inspiration for us. Awesome, so tell me about tickets as far as getting them online in advance, or can I just drive up here and walk up and get a ticket at the ticket booth? How's that gonna work? You can do both. If you do it online, you will have just a QR code on your phone. You can go straight to the gate and get scanned in, or you can come purchase a ticket and same thing, you'll take the paper ticket and get it scanned. So either way. Tell me about the pricing of the tickets. How does that work? Children three and under are free. Four to 11 is $55. 11 to 64 is $69. And then senior 65 older are $55. And it's the same price online versus at the ticket window. So if I come here to the area often, many times throughout the year, am I able to get a season pass? You can definitely get a season pass. You can upgrade your ticket that day for a season pass okay. also. And we also have a turbo pass option where you can skip the line to the faster line. If it's, it's, if it's crowded, you can get a turbo pass also. So the park is opening March 1st. Correct. March 1st, 2024 will look a little different come March 1st, 2025. You're going to actually have some more things throughout Definitely. the year you're going to be adding and expanding. We'll talk about that later in the video. Definitely. Sounds okay. perfect. Are you open year round and what are your typical hours look like? Uh, we are not 100% sure about the year round. Uh, next January and February and we may do weekends. So after March 1st, closing two days a week, uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays until May, then we'll be seven days a week. Or 10 to 5 until the second week of May, we go 10 to 8 and we'll do 10 to 8 all the way through September and then just jump back down to 10 to five. Cause we're not really set up to work after dark, but that may come in the future, we'll see. I think the big question everyone wants to know is what are the ride height weight requirements? I think we should go check out all the different rides sure. and look at each one, see what everyone can do come opening day Great. on March 1st. Let's do it. All right, so now that we're in the gate, tell me a little bit about this tire. Um, well, it's the world's largest production tire in that it's 14 feet tall, 12,500 pounds with over 2000 pounds of steel inside the tire so it is massive and uh it's a dump truck up in canada that actually takes six of these tires at fifty thousand dollars a piece that's an expensive tire change <laughs> it's very expensive over here to the right you're going to have a number of different equipment that kids can come up and take a picture with these are all demo units uh caterpillar stowers cat brought these in um, uh, so you can see the different sizes and uh get a up close view of all the different types of equipment. We'll rotate these through with all different kinds of equipment throughout the year. And then over here to the right is our first ride we're gonna highlight. You've actually got two rides Correct. over here. Tell yes. us about these ones. Yes, yeah, so we have Lil Loco, which is the barrel train. Uh, we got single and double seats and uh, minimum to ride by yourself is about 36 inches. Next to that is the Diggy Bear Express, which is typical tram ride. Uh, we're working on a microphone system to 
be able to talk about the park as we go around the outside of the park. You can sit three wide uh, on those seats. So you have this big giant Cat 320, which you've converted into the Decimator ride. I think we're gonna save that for last. So let's take a left around the park past the big tire. So as we head to our next ride, tell me a little bit about this right here. Uh, this is a Cat 992 bucket uh, donated by Vulcan Materials. It's about 11,900 pounds, 18 feet wide. It is huge. So a great little photo spot for it the whole sure family. Is. Yep, you can get right inside the bucket and take a picture. We've got the gift shop and the arcade. We'll show you that a little bit later. Got some restrooms over here to the left. So as we went past the cafe over here to the left, tell me a little bit about what you'll be expanding over the next year. Um, there is gonna be a, a place for smaller children. It'll be a construction theme splash pad, um, construction themed putt-putt, some huge sand pits with all kinds of digging toys uh, to play with. And that will be included in the mission also. So ballpark, when are you hoping to have this area done? Uh, for summer of 25. Okay, so this is complete over here to the right. Tell me a little bit about the height and weight requirements of the Gator Grand Prix. So to be able to drive it uh, yourself, about 48 inches, uh, to be able to reach the pedals and see over the steering wheel, ride about 32 inches. And they are John Deere Gators. Uh, they do go around a uh, track with mulch. And there are some mud pits uh, you kind of got to go through. As you can see on the tires of the gators that are a little bit muddy uh, from all the testing. Well, I'm going to hop on and give this thing a try. You're driving. <laughs> okay. We're going muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Look down until you see an H. Okay. Okay. And then when you go to stop, I'll tell you, come back over here. All you're going to do is mash your brake and pull it straight down. Okay. Got it. What's the course record? Uh. <laughs> All right, well, whatever it is, she's about We're to break it. it. Here we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> there it is. Top speed. Through the mud. There you go. All right. Thank you, guys. You might set a new course record. We'll see. <laughs> and just beyond the Gators, you've got these two tracks over here. Tell me about these little red ones right here. Yeah, so we've got, uh, it's called Pedlin. We've got small ones, we've got doubles, we've got uh, big ones, and actually some of the fastest uh, rides in the park are these guys. Um, but you can just hop on and go around this track as often as you like. So what's nice about these is you can go as fast or as slow as you want. I think you're doing a fine job. This thing is great. <laughs> So you've got a variety of sizes to choose from. And right next to that, you have the Boogie Buggies. Tell me about those. Uh, these are little electric side-by-side uh, -side SUVs, almost like a Land Rover style. And you can ride one to two uh, children in those. And we do have a max height of 55 inches because um, they are on the small side for smaller drivers. And we can show you one real quick. Oh, this, is, this thing moves. It's moving all 200 pounds of me. It's supposed to be a side-by-side, -side, Ryan. I'm not sure how this is working. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. There's a look at your boogie buddy. Buggy? Buddy. Buggy. Buggies. Not buddy, it's buggy. Boogie buggy. Buggies. That's why it's a 55-inch height limit. So there you go. That will be on the track right over here. Correct. As we head up to the next ride, you just have some equipment out around here. It's a static equipment that actually has been completely refurbished. It was donated to, donated to us and they all work. This was pre-hydraulic era and um, that was the era of all cable driven machines. So it took a lot of work to actually run these machines. They had a full-time oiler in the back who stayed in the engine housing, oiled the machine all day while the operator worked and they are super, super loud inside there. If you're riding the tram or the little barrel train, this is where you turn around and go all the way around the park and end up back at the beginning. I would say that's probably about a seven to eight minute ride. It you is, say? you're correct. Okay, so tell us about this next activity, the cut and run. It sure is, it's a John Deere zero turn mowers. And this is one of the two uh, rides that you cannot have a lap rider. There's just no room. Uh, but you actually get on the zero turn mower go around the track and test your skills, trying to do some 360 degree turns or 180 turns and uh, 
come back in and hit the hit the rubber the rubber gap as you try to park it for the next rider. That's a ride that I'm always trying to encourage my kids at my house to ride. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I think we all should encourage that. We have some other equipment on the field here in the right. These are, as soon as we partner with John Deere and, and Caterpillar, these are some static pieces you can get up, up close and see uh, right here next to the cornhole boards. And this will be an addition this summer uh, of some really tiny excavators that we will have here called the Little Digging Pit. So that's coming soon. Next ride is called Farm Hands. It's got a driver minimum height of 40 inches. Tell me a little bit about Farm Hands. That's correct. So these are John Deere tractors. They're 3025s and um, you can uh, do a lap rider and you can, uh, they're all hydrostatic controlled with your foot. So if you have a lap rider, uh, you can control the speed with your foot while they sit there and steer. It's a, it's a lot of fun. So now, Bree, you can officially say you've driven a tractor. Yes, thank you for enduring that for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to going a little faster on our mower, so yeah, happy to do it. Skid steer track number one called Rockin' Rollin'. This has a driver minimum height of 52 inches and you can't have a lap rider, is that correct? That is correct. There Again, there is no room really to have a lap rider. Uh, so this is 52 inch or above and You'll ride this pavement roller around the track. It's actually very difficult, a lot harder than you would think to steer a vehicle that turns in the middle. So the articulating turn is very challenging, but a lot of fun. It's my uh, dreams of working at Home Depot. I can make the... <laughs> ma'am, ma'am, you need to slow down there. Slow down, slow down. Back it up, Terry. Back, back, back up, it up, Terry. Terry. <laughs> Fourth place, baby. <laughs> if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> and at the end over here is the Crusher. Tell me a little bit about the Crusher. Uh, the Crusher is um, a pavement roller that you can go into the gift shop, buy a, a car, and bring it out here and crush the vehicles. Uh, there are some remnants of one that was crushed recently, but 36 inch minimum, and uh, they can help you if it's if it's too too difficult, but you just uh, push the stick forward and it'll run right over a car and crush it flat. So you can take the, the crushed, crushed car and a, a normal car with you home and uh, show all your buddies that you crush this car at digging zone with a, a real pavement roller. Across from the pavement rollers, we come to Skidden One, where you can drive a cat skid loader with a driver minimum height of 48 inches, but you can have a little one on your lap. How little of a kid can you have with you on this? As small as you would like it, that you can hold them. So um, they will be, you will be buckled in. You will have a seat belt and the two arms uh, that fold down that keep you in. So if an arm comes up, the machine shuts off, the seat belt comes off, the machine shuts off. And we took the buckets off out of these custom staircases to make it safer and easier to get in and out of the uh, skid steer. So no. does this actually steer or steers and, steers and forward and kind of like a joystick? Outside, like a joystick. Yep. Okay. This isn't too hard. It's just like a joystick going forward and steering. Third place, baby. Third place. <laughs> so continuing on up here on the left, we have the Diggin Derby where you can drive tractors or dumpers. It has a maximum occupants of two with a driver minimum height of 40. Want to tell me a little bit about these guys? Yes, so the child sits in the front and if you'll notice the bigger seat in the back, so the parent actually sits behind the child and can help them steer uh, push the gas pedal. Um, it's it's really cool that two people can ride front to back on these and they make 
uh, tractor noises too. So they go around the track with simulated tractor noises. Right across from the little Diggin Derby ride, you've got Diggin Pit 1 and Diggin Pit 2. You can have two people on these with a solo operator minimum height of 42 inches. Tell me a little bit about how these are going to work. Um, yeah, these are great because you can uh, put a young, small child in your lap. Again, seat belt around both of you and they can hold the, the controls and dig uh, as much as they want while you hold them uh, in your lap. So uh, this is very, uh, very fun. It's kind of the uh, purpose of the whole, the whole uh, excavator uh, part. So you can dig about four or five feet deep and put the material to either side and fill it back in or keep digging. Okay. It's pretty small and it's been over the machine left and right. That's real large. It's like New York City. <laughs> <laughs> the claw. <laughs> this is like when you were a kid on the playground, only much, much cooler. <laughs> Oh, that's how you do that. Okay, it takes a little while to get used to it. So again, as you walk around, there's lots of different equipment for kids of all ages to see, to come up and take some pictures with, like this big giant dump truck. That's a mining truck, a Euclid uh, mining truck. So they go in and out of the mines. And it looks like you've got some room over here if you wanted to add some more excavators in the future. We do, we have a, a couple new games that we are actually working up the engineering portion on and we will let you know as soon as we get it engineered so you can come and see it. So speaking of games we've got some different ones over here to the left and just like the digging pits if you can have a little one sit on your lap they could come in here and join you for some games. Let's take a look at Tumble Town. So how does this game work? The original thought was to have a bowling game but uh, we thought this was way more appropriate, so we have a wrecking ball, and the goal is to wreck as many buildings and knock them over before time expires as possible. If you can knock them all down, we reset it in just a second and see how many you can get on the next round. Is this where you're gonna get get back? You're gonna win one this time. Uh, oh, down! No, down! 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 I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. One more. One more to win. Ah! Uh, Yes! Horn! Ah! <laughs> Since we knocked those out so quick, she's gonna reset it up and we're gonna do it again. Uh oh, Hannah's already got one. Oh man, I'm I'm slacking. I that handicap's killing me right now. Oh no, she <laughs> she is just crushing me. Oh, missed it. Oh no, she's got two more. Hannah got it? Hannah got it. <laughs> not, never quit. Good job, Hannah. <laughs> Good job to the winner of that round. Well done. Next we come to Later Gator. Tell me, how does this one work? So these are uh, gator heads that you uh, try to pluck out of the pond and if you can finish getting them all out of the pond, you gotta try to put them back in the pond before time expires. And it looks easy, but when they start floating and moving, uh, it gets very difficult because they are never in the same position, same orientation, more than a few seconds. So um, it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of fun and a big challenge to, to challenge your buddies to see who can do it the fastest. I have a horn. <laughs> <laughs> so a little fun fact, Bree went to Florida State University and she hates the gators. She's a gator hater. You're going down, Bree. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Crikey Maybe. Hold on. I'm going to speak oh, to you oh. soon. Come on. Come on, little gator. Okay. Come on, little gator. Ah. Man, it's a lot harder than right. it looks. I'm going over to this. Oh, right there. Small. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh, no. She's got one, one. on me. Hannah got the big one. Hannah's Hannah beating me. Hannah and I me. are killing you. <laughs> we both got one. Oh, I had it. Come on, come on. Yeah, that will count. That will count. Oh, no, Hannah's got two on me. Oh, that just yeah. knocked it over. Oh, no, they're beating me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Got it. Next one wins. Next one wins. There it is. Ah, I beat you. Oh, 
winner! <laughs> Good job, Bree. That's the fun. The Seminole has beat the Gators. <laughs> Same ride height requirements on the Pipeliner. Tell me a little bit about how this game works. This game is similar to the game Operation. Um, you'll start with the pipes outside the board, and you've got to uh, lay the pipe in the correct slot on the board. Uh, the cone looks like it's there as a uh, distraction, but it's actually useful to put the pipe on it and hit it and spin the pipe to the correct orientation to get it right in the slot. Very challenging again, but a lot of fun. And uh, it's fun to see who can, who can lay the most pipe the fastest. Okay. This one's gonna make you go left to right, and that one's gonna make you go up and down. You got it? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna beat you, Ethan. I already forgot which one is which. And go. All right, three minute timer has started. Here goes Hannah. She has never hopped on one of these, so she's just kind of figuring out as she goes. You got it, Hannah. Oh, almost. There you go. Ethan's got two. Got to catch up, Hannah. So Hannah is trying to figure out the controls, getting more comfortable with it. Trying to get that ring around the hook. Oh, 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 lift. Go up, go up. There you go. Good job, Hannah. Abby only needs one more. Ethan only Maybe needs one more. She's trying to get it off. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like Ethan over there. He's got the last one. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. Almost. There you go. Lift up, Hannah. There you go. Good job. Abby has all of hers off. Logan's doing pretty well over here. Oh, she's got it. Good job, Hannah. Good job, last one, you got it. Drop it and try to get him back in. Ethan got one put back in. Uh oh. No! I think she's gonna help us out there. There you go. Ethan's trying to get his second one. All right, can you get it put back in? Oh, Ethan's got the second one put back in. Two, one. And time is up. Tell me about Plunky Monkey. What's the objective? The objective is to, similar to monkeys in a barrel, you try to chain as many monkeys together as possible in the uh, right amount of time. So you hook their arms together and keep stacking them as you lift the arm of the excavator higher and higher. Very difficult, very challenging, but a lot of fun. You're going down. This is for a foot massage. The winner of this one wins it all and gets a foot massage tonight. Sounds good. So I gotta I win this. Really, I can use right. a foot massage. All my training has led to this moment. <laughs> oh man. Wow, this is hard. <laughs> Come on, catch something. What are you doing over there? <laughs> Trying to win, that's what I'm doing. All right there, here we go. Come on, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. We got one, one on the board. This is hard. Yeah. Come on, little monkey, grab your buddy. We got a buddy. We got a buddy on board. That's two. <laughs> one. Yay. You got one? Right there, right there. Right. Oh, right there, right there, right there, right there. Up, 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 up. Yes, that's three. I lost my monkey. <gasps> oh, no, I lost him. Come back, come back, come back. Oh, I had three. Oh, oh no! Oh no, no, no! Oh, I, I should have just my got my three and called it a day. Oh no! I got two! Oh no, come on, catch it! Catch something. Oh no, no! Gotta make sure I got my controls down right. Oh, that's, hey, that counts. We're gonna count that. Oh, 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 I lost them, I lost them. She's got two, she just tied me. I got me. two. Yeah, I see it. We need a third. Come on monkey about to get the third oh it's a three. tie it's a tie it's a tie <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh 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 look at that wow good job now that i've tried all four i would say this is going to be the easiest correct and then actually it seems like it gets harder as you walk down it does with plunky monkey being definitely the hardest i'd have to agree with that i'm not a fan of that monkey it's <laughs> hard to pick up we come to the decimator i've been really debating whether i should ride this thing or not but let's see who can ride it first you have to be at least 48 inches and can be no more than 275 pounds so tell me a little bit about the decimator 
So it's a 50,000 pound Cat 320 and we have engineered 10 seats back to back and the ride operator uh, will lift up the seats in the riders and spin them left and spin them right for a pretty thrilling ride. Uh, you're required to scream as loud as you can if you get on this, Ryan. All right, I think I'll give it a try. You're gonna get on the decimator? Yes. All right, let's see what she thinks. You ready, Hannah? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she goes. Oh my goodness! No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already dizzy. <laughs> Hannah, how was it? Good. Try sitting on the outside oh, seat. Oh, you mean the one the that furthest goes one away, yeah. Come on. So I'm going to go talk to the guy and tell him if I scream, stop. No, ask him to stop. So no, I'm going to give it a try, all right? He said, okay, I'll go faster. So we need to work on our communication skills, me and this guy up here. What's your name? Decimator. <laughs> he said his name is Decimator. Come on, my but, hand if you want. I need to get your attention. Huh? You can hold my hand if you right, want. Alright, Hannah's gonna hold my hand. It's He's a little, scaredy cat. Oh, it's a little bit chill. It's a little bit chilly. Yeah. Hannah, what have I done here? Oh, we're going up. We're going up. Oh, we're going up. Oh, we're going up. Oh, I told you, the outside seat. Yeah, not too gentle. Oh! This guy! Oh! Oh! This is... Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy, it's the outside. The outside. Oh boy. Okay. He's going okay. Extra okay. Fast. I gotta keep looking at decimator over here. <laughs> I don't want to look off in the distance. Yeah, look off. Look off. Oh. 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 Okay. All right, we're slowing down. Where's mom? Mom is spinning. Hi, mom. Now we're gonna go forward. <laughs> oh no no no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh Hannah. It's Hannah. Like oh. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? Why did I get on this thing? <laughs> Mom, help. Mom, help me. Oh, we're going down. Go down. Yes. Lower. Gravity. Down. Lower. Ground. He said he wants to go again. No, I did not. I did not say I want to go again. I'm good. One and done. One and done. I am a scaredy cat when it comes to rides, so if I can hop on this thing, you can hop on this thing. As we work our way back to the cafe, we pass by some gem mining here. Now this is Diggy Bear's Treasures, and this is um, our gem mine. You can buy the, the bags in the gift shop and come out here and uh, gem mine. We have a station that tells you what what gems you found and uh, you can compare them to the pictures. And tell me a little bit about this stage and this open field. Yeah, so that's the hard hat stage. Uh, we will in the summer have concerts, school events, corporate events, and uh, lots of fun activities. And you can bring a lawn chair, sit out in the lawn, uh, watch, watch music, watch uh, uh, dancing, uh, bands, all kinds of activities. Before we go through the exit and check out some of the merchandise, let's walk all the way back down here and check out what they're serving in the cafe. On our way to the cafe, you do have this open area with a number of different picnic tables so you could take your food and come sit under here. So the Dig In Cafe is uh, quick service food. We have burgers, uh, chicken strips, hot dogs, uh, pizzas, and some ice cream and some sweets. We'll have grab and go salads. Uh, we have gluten free options and um, some kids kid meals with Uncrustables and uh, chicken strips. Next, let's head into the arcade and check out the birthday party room real quick. So when you come into the arcade, you can get an arcade card over here to the right. Can you tell me a little bit more about the arcade? Uh, sure, it's a full service arcade. Um, you get the re reloadable cards, uh, you get the points and you get to pick something behind the counter uh, with your points after you redeem them. And here is a look at the birthday room. Can you tell me how birthdays work here at Dickens Zone? Sure, we have them on our website. Um, you just buy a package, a minimum of 10 people. And of course you can add more. And um, it comes with pizzas and party decorations and uh, you can have a, a cake with some dirt on it um, and, and an excavator. So this will be a lot of fun. And uh, we, we have several parties booked, so we're excited to get them up here and let them have a good time. And this is right above the arcade. You can see the stairs 
going down to all the arcade games. And as we exit through the gift shop, you can see the cost on the gem mining bags, which you can come in here and grab and head over to the gem mine. And they have tons of construction themed toys and t-shirts and all sorts of things that you can grab in here. You can also get a refillable mug for $15 and refill throughout the time here at Diggin' Zone. There's a quick overview of the gift shop here at Diggin' Zone. One last thing I wanted you to keep in mind is that some of the equipment has been modified to run slower for safety purposes. So just don't expect to be going full speed on all the attractions. So the question is, of everything we just showed you, what could our three-year-old Ethan not do? Just the zero-turn mowers, the pavement rollers, and the decimator ride. Otherwise, he could either ride on or with someone on everything else at Diggin' Zone Theme Park. Our favorite thing to do here was competing against each other on all the excavator games. We'd love to hear from you in the comments which activity would you or your little one like to do the most. If you have watched this far in the video and enjoyed this tour, be sure to like the video and make sure you are subscribed for more family-friendly videos like this. We wanted to bless one of our subscribers with two tickets to Diggin' Zone. All you have to do is make sure in your comment it includes Diggin' Zone Theme Park and we'll pick a comment at random on an upcoming live stream and send them to the winner. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure. It's hot. I think the question a lot of people are asking, look at what those height ride, <laughs> go look at what those ride height, uh, got my merge mixed up. Go look at all the ride height, wait, tuh. Woo!